hey y'all welcome back to another vlog if you guys are new here my name is jaji make sure you like comment and subscribe i've been in a very vloggy mood lately like i'm always picking up my vlogging camera to film something so you guys are definitely going to be seeing a lot of vlogs in the upcoming months with that being said i did want this to be a maintenance vlog because i have a missing nail i need to get my toes done i have a lash appointment tomorrow like i have a lot of maintenancey things planned i went ahead and did my hair off camera because i feel like you guys are kind of tired of seeing me do maintenance and it's just like i'm kind constantly doing my hair my nails my lashes like the same thing in rotation so i didn't want to do that again but that's kind of all i had planned so i mean i don't think i'm gonna title it a maintenance vlog just because i don't feel like i require that much maintenance anyway a maintenance vlog is like full body wax getting you know facials and nails and feet hair everything and it's just like i'm coming on here with my hair already done i'm doing my toes my nails my lashes and i mean i don't know do you guys know more about this vlog than i do at this point because i don't even know what i'm gonna title it but like i said before i do have to get my toes done today they're looking a little chopped i tend to neglect my toes a little bit more in the winter because it's like nobody's gonna see them that is kind of bad because it's like it's still a part of self-care but it's not that i don't do them for like months it's just you know just not as often <laughs> but yeah my toes are a little grown out i'm not even gonna show them to you guys because i might get demonetized you know it's time to trim them toenails when your shoes start fitting a little funny yeah it's time to clip those toenails i usually keep them like trimmed really short because again i don't want them scraping the bumpers of my shoes i get french tip on my toes like i just have been loving the whole french tip vibe the girls i get it get it and the girls i don't don't if you only get white i used to be one of those girls try you a little french tip trust me it's like every time i trim my toenails i'm cutting a little bit more to design off and i'm at about a millimeter left of french tip so it's time to get these redone i'm doing that today i don't think i have anything else planned for the rest of the day i know i have a lash appointment tomorrow like i said so i have to make sure that i don't miss that because these lashes are on 30% density at this point. I did call my nail salon and let them know that I'm going to be coming in in about 30 minutes. So I have to get ready. Not going to get too cute. So I'm not going to do like a whole get ready with me montage. Probably just want to throw my bonnet on because I don't want to go outside looking like Snoop Dogg in the 80s. I'll meet up with you guys when I'm in the nail salon. Come here, P. Uh in the paddock, get my piece, a push a pee. Cop new hammers for my piece, we don't want no peace. Got a spot across the spot, check for peace. Drop the data, now we plant inside the piece. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned lesbian. Push a pee, push a pee. On capital P, I write the president, count president. Push a pee, watch keys on her knees, mopping down a pee. She let me squeeze and she leave. I'm back from the nail salon and she did her thing on my toes. I just, I just love me a good French tip. Every single time that I go to the nail salon, I'm like always so tempted to let them do my brows. But if you guys don't know, I'm like a eyebrow virgin. Nobody's ever touched my brows before. And I'm so scared to let them go all willy nilly with that thread on my face. I've been wanting to look into like girls on Instagram that do like eyebrow tinting and like the ones that really map out your brows and really, you know, take their time like really go through the art of making eyebrows i kind of want to go to one of them especially for my first time i obviously didn't just get home i took a shower you know freshened up and that kind of just got me into the mood of like why not just make this like a whole self-care night i stopped at the beauty supply store to get a couple things but one thing is for our little self-care night so the first thing i bought is the rk by kiss hydrating lip therapy and this is my favorite lip gloss if you guys don't know i put you guys onto this all the time and you could just never have too much my lips are actually a little ashy right now so we're gonna have to use this later then i bought robert's diamond bond protective shield basically i was on tiktok and i saw a girl use like a quick weave protector for her lace fronts and i thought that that was so smart because it is a glue protector and i guess it protects your edges so i got this one i couldn't find the salon pro 3 one and they also didn't have the clear the last thing that i got are these two face razors which is what we're going to be using tonight because i want to shave my face recently i've been playing around in makeup you guys haven't seen it because you know i gotta perfect my craft while i come on here looking like a clown i feel like makeup really does apply so flawlessly besides the hair i'm about to shave my face i also heard that it helps like your products penetrate deeper and just all this extra stuff so i'm gonna do a face shave then we can do like a mask and then skincare tomorrow i do have a lash appointment and they usually recommend you not to put on any like super oily moisturizers or just don't moisturize your face at all and 
my skin is not built for that so like i have to prep it from tonight so i don't go outside looking like frosted flakes we're about to start shaving my face so i'll put you guys at a bit of a closer angle um you guys are all up in my trivials now i need to use one of these right now because my lips are on dust so when you shave your face it's supposed to have some type of like oil or just something to lube up your face as like a shaving cream i guess i'm gonna use this freeman gel cream leave-on mask because i don't know it just makes me feel better like it makes me feel like i'm not gonna have to wash a bunch of oil off my face being that this is meant to leave on my face just like really thin and like i feel like this is the perfect consistency to like want to shave your face with probably gonna like shave some of like my sideburns a little bit well i don't think this low is sideburns but like some of that needs to come off yeah i've definitely been needing to do this because not only is there a bunch of like peach fuzz on my cheeks my mustache is growing in so thick and i'm so glad this sony camera has like a smoothing filter so you can't even really tell but trust me in person is giving little boy so i think this is good i don't want to rub it in too much because i don't want it to like soak into my face i'm about to start shaving i don't know if i want to talk during this process because i don't want to cut myself even though i highly doubt this is going to do that but listen you never know now i want to do a face mask i don't want to do anything too harsh because i feel like when you shave your face your face is very like vulnerable and just like open skin i think i'm gonna go with another freeman mask it's this little mini one it's a clay mask and my aunt got me this for christmas so it's coming in handy clay masks are very cooling especially because this one has like cucumbers and everything i don't know it just gives me a very refreshing vibe so i'm gonna put this on and it says it's a 10 minute mask so we're gonna do this for 10 minutes and then wash it off Okay, so a little update. It's two days later. My last appointment was supposed to be yesterday, but it got rescheduled. So I ended up having to do multiple things in one day. I did my teeth whitening, which is why my teeth is shining bright like a diamond right now. Being that I didn't have anything to do yesterday, I soaked off my nails and made me a new set. Um, these was inspired by another YouTuber. Her name is Glam by Amanda. I don't know how I feel about them on me because I don't know if I'm 100% for the having two different hands. But now I'm on my way to my lash tech and I don't feel like I record my lash tech as much as i should and i don't give her her brownie points because like she's literally the only girl that touched my lashes she does it every time she has great prices and she's local i need a feeling bad especially on this eye i'm starting to have like a little gap and then don't get me started on my bottoms i have like a couple over here and then one over here i literally look like beetlejuice crazy crazy you put it oh my god the camera's been looking at me yo get into the lashes are y'all crazy are y'all dumb 
are they dumb stupid or crazy like let me know 2022 we not getting our lashes done by nobody else but lash too fab are you crazy <laughs> come on look don't play don't play with the bottom i look a little dry but lips giving chop <laughs> Yo, I hate you. Because <laughs> I didn't be fancy. You said it for Yeah, let's look job. My camera's overheating, so it I'll is? get back to you guys at the house. It's two days later. It's actually 1 a.m. and I have school in the morning. I'm gonna make sure that I do my nails before I end out this maintenance vlog because I want to start a whole new vlog tomorrow of like my first day because I actually go to school now. I'll tell you guys more about that in the school get ready with me. So stay tuned for that. I wanted to get all my appointments out the way and then kind of come home and do my nails. I already have this hand glued on and then I do my right hand set on a stand just because it's it's way quicker because I can still do it with my dominant hand and then glue them on after. I think I'm going to go for like a normal French tip because I don't know. This length is just giving like a clean French tip and I have French tip on my toes. And I don't know. My hands just feel so pretty when I have French tip. This is not going to be a tutorial on how I do my nails. I'm just going to do like a little montage time lapse thing. I want to do a video dedicated on how I do my nails so I can, you know, really break it down. Because I know somebody's not going to get it if I explain it in five minutes. So that video is also coming soon. I'm working on filming that as well. So again just enjoy this montage and this is the last thing we'll be doing for the maintenance one. It's 4.36. I didn't just finish my nails. I was kind of like lollygagging after. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to stay up till school tomorrow. And then I was like, well, that's not really a good idea. So I'm not going to do that. I was just popping back on here to show you guys how my nails turned out. I think they look really nice. They're like real cute and classy and clean. It's look like acrylics with the press-ons. That's exactly why I need to show you guys how I do it. I have to wake up at 6.30 to get ready and get this other vlog done for you guys. So I know my vlogs have been a little short, but that's because there's going to be an increase in vlogs. So I'm about to try to get at least two hours hours of sleep before I have to get up and do it all over again I just got the Hulu free trial so I can try to get into euphoria because everybody's been talking about it and I want to see what the rave is about I don't appreciate being left out of the euphoria conversations because I don't know what the hell them TikToks mean I don't know what none of it means this is going to be the end of the maintenance vlog I hope you guys did enjoy this I know it was a little shorter than my normal vlogs but like I said I'm trying to keep them coming and you know if I'm vlogging different things and I can't keep these vlogs running for too long make sure you like comment subscribe because I've been way more consistent and a lot of you have been noticing and thank you because it makes me feel like my hard work is not going unnoticed again i gotta get me some sleep so do your do out here